Do you think Nigeria is ready for another phase of lockdown due to the rising cases of COVID-19? Obviously, the government is not ready. The last uh, lockdown that, that occurred, the palliatives were not given to people, and unfortunately, the NSAS, uh, what was it called? The NSAS uh, protests actually showed that palliatives were stored in people's warehouses, people were, uh, politicians were given palliatives, and the real people actually needed the, uh, the, the, law, uh, the palliatives were not given. So, obviously, I wouldn't say the government, the government is not ready, and even Nigerians who are not ready for the lockdown because it's human life. And people can survive uh, COVID-19 maybe 30, 40 days, but two days or three days of hunger is going to take somebody out of the earth. They are just kidnapping all around. 9,000 lalas. I will not be very happy. My name is Dam Larry. Come on, you're watching Legit TV. According to reports, the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic has hit many international countries, such as the United States of America, Russia, United Kingdom, to mention a few. The Minister for Health in Nigeria has also opened up on rising cases of COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria and is warning Nigerians on another phase of possible lockdown. Legit TV took to the street of Ikeja to ask Nigerians if they support the government's decision on embarking on another COVID-19 lockdown. I'm Dola Pamodeni and you're watching Legit TV. Nigeria is not ready. Why do you say that? Because our attitude First and foremost, Nigerian government makes us to believe that COVID-19 in Nigeria is a scam. So because of that, Nigerians as a whole, we don't have trust in Nigerian governments. Whatever they tell us, they just cook and boost stories. How do you mean sir, that they made us believe COVID-19 is a scam? Because in other climes, you see what the efforts Nigeria, other governments are doing to fight COVID-19. Yes, Nigeria is only tell us daily that this is what is the record we have, this is what we are doing, this is so so persons must have died. Fine, people have died, but they must have died as a result of other causes. How are we sure it's actually the COVID-19 that killed them? So we don't trust what Nigerian governments are telling us. Okay. So as a result of that, Nigeria is not ready for the next phase of lockdown, if at all there is COVID-19 in Nigeria. Okay, but in case this lockdown is, is enforced, yeah. how are you going to prepare yourself and your family for this second phase? Well, the God has sustained us in phase one, we see us in phase two. I don't, I don't think we are ready for another phase of COVID-19 lockdown. And the reason I'm saying so is because um, if we are taking learnings from the last lockdown that had happened, a lot of things were not in place. You had um, infrastructure that should be in place in terms of helping the populace not being set into motion. You had um, palliatives that were hoarded by some certain individuals and they didn't give that to the public. So a lot of people suffered a whole lot. Majority of the people who run businesses, low scheme businesses in Lagos, run the businesses day to day. So people like Okada riders, artisans and people who sell maybe petty products or medium scale products in the market, they make their income from daily sales or daily services that they provide. So such if, if um, I mean, another lockdown should take place where things are not in place, there are no palliatives, there are no financial institutions that are set to help the populace, it's going to cause major rancor, it's going to put people in a very, how do I call it, a very dis this desirable, undesirable state of, you know, of things. Masses are going to be really crazy, really upset with what's happening. And so taking learnings from the things that have happened in the past, I don't think we are ready because one of the other things that we have seen fairly recently with the whole NSAS issue and then the people running into warehouses and finding palliatives that were meant to have been given at the time of the lockdown that didn't come through is how are we sure that you know we are this thing is not going to happen again and it's it's really sad that it's happening to a country such as ours and the people who are hard working you know and 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 a lot of us are not very loyal or a lot of us are not very honest but the majority of us are quite honest with their business and this whole lockdown issue without the proper things being put in place, it's going to cause major trouble. So I don't think we are ready for it at this time. I won't say I support and I won't say I'm against it, but the government must give the reason why the second lockdown is going to occur. 
if there's increase in if there's rise in the uh, the pandemic then maybe there should be a lockdown but if there isn't i wouldn't support it because economically it won't affect people's lifestyle so okay, so as it is there is a rise of covid 19 lockdown already across the country and all in an international countries as well so if they enforce another lockdown episode in nigeria are you ready or do you think the government is ready for another phase of lockdown obviously the government is not ready the last uh, lockdown that, that occurred the palliatives were not given to people and unfortunately the answers uh, what's it called the answers uh, protests actually showed that palliatives were stored in people's warehouses people were uh, politicians were given palliatives and the real people actually needed the uh, the, the, uh, the palliatives were not given so obviously i wouldn't say the government the government is not ready and even nigerians who are not ready for the lockdown because it's human life and people can survive uh, covid 19 maybe 30 40 days but two days or three days of hunger is going to take somebody out of the earth that's just my own um, so what and what do you want the government to put in place in order to make the second phase of lockdown more comfortable for Nigerians? Um, if they are going to support them, they must, they must be ready to support businesses. They must be able to give subsidies and um, what else, I don't know. But you cannot lock people down without giving them incentives to, to actually what's called, to augment what their, 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 their lifestyle. If you are saying you are going to lock me down, I mustn't go out. Then you must be able to feed me, you must be able to feed my family, you must be able to feed my extended family. Because actually we have Nigerians who are even who would, the extended family depends on them. So if I say you are locking down, you should know the, the, the cost implication of, of, the, of the lockdown. So for me, basically, if they are going to lock down, then they must be able to provide incentives. And the government itself, do they even have the financial capacity to, 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 uh, to uh, what's it called, to cushion the effect? That's another issue. So that's all. I don't think, I don't think we are ready for another phase of lockdown. But why do you say that? Though in some of the Western world and advanced country, they've already entered second phase of COVID-19. But in Nigeria, the main reason why I don't think we're ready is because there is no provision for, for, or for we Nigerians. There is no, from the part of the government, there is, no, so there's, there is no any provision. And even what an average Nigerian is earning is not up to what can actually give them let me say, a better living. So, okay, imagine someone, someone, that, um, someone that has been affected by his, uh, his job from the first phase of lockdown, telling them to go back to the second phase of lockdown, whereas they have nothing they're living on as at present. So it's going to be difficult. So the fact remains, the thing is increasing, but why we seems not to believe it is because we've not seen a particular victim unlike other countries so we nigerians 100 percent are not ready for second phase of lockdown well actually if you look well into it uh, it is no more for us to go on lockdown again because of the immense increase of uh, victims of covid 19. Uh, no matter whatever it will cost at least we should just endure it. Political or not, at least nobody died of hunger during those seasons. You understand? So authentically, we need it. That will be the solution. What are some of the things you want Nigeria to do differently this time around? Uh, every individual ought to be prepared, well dressed uh, for another battle. Because I can see that's a challenge globally and Nigeria is not left out so individually we have to start getting ready for eventuality now.